Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. This is one of my projects from before the Great Flood of 2022. So I've got some stencils here with flame patterns. And today I wanted to do a real high contrast kind of flip-flop flame. We need to start with a metallic white, which is what we have. We need some of this aluminum, and then we're gonna need to pick a color to put over the whole thing. And I was kind of thinking carob blue. We're also gonna do a wheel upgrade and obviously get our little engine mounted. I'll show you the interior, it's super basic, unfortunately. And for wheels, we got a couple options. So these big wheels, I custom fit in there. I actually had to open up this front wheel well a little bit. So I was thinking of using these mags. However, we do have another option here. If we wanted to go a little bit more mullet with it, we could. Actually, these shafts are a little bit too short. I wonder if I could just do a little switcheroo here. These wheels are another option, but I kind of like the bigger ones better. So we'll stick with these ones. They fill out the wheel wells better and we'll save those big meats for another build. All right, so right now, this car is actually finished in a clear coat. And I normally do that whenever I'm messing around with these vinyls, just because this stuff is so super tacky. Something like that. I made two different versions of the hood flames. One is a short version, so I'm gonna try that first. That's working a little bit better. You guys see how I kind of link these up here? Let me try this side here. That looks pretty good for a transition. I kind of weave them together on any of the little swoops that I can do. Make it look somewhat good. Pimp, that looks way better than what we used to do. So I'm gonna mix up our colors here. This is carob blue. Just make sure we got enough pigment. And then we gotta add our medium. For this I'm using UVLS Gloss Clear Coat. And I mix that 50-50. And then we'll just reduce that just a smidgen. It's a little thick still. You see how it's kinda of coming off my stick like a syrup. That drips a little bit too slow, so I'm going to add a little bit more. I like that. That is going to be our color. That's our aluminum paint. And then we'll thin this out the same. Get that nice responsive drip. So let me head to the spray booth and we'll get this thing started. So you can kind of see right now how the white and the silver kind of react with each other. As the light hits it, the flames just kind of disappear. So we're going to head back to the spray booth and we're going to hit this with our blue and see what happens. What do you think of those flames? You see how they kind of play hide and seek? I'm thinking I'm gonna do all the trim around the windows and stuff, cause this Mustang needs some help, okay? Get the old trusty stand. I've been trying to use up all this yellow tape lately because I got some red tape that I really wanna use. And we'll just round out these corners just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. Sweet, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna finish masking this and we'll head over to the booth and we'll do those. I might do this one over the door, but I do wanna go spray these first.
Well, that looks real good, man. Look at that. Nice and crispy. For the silver I used for that, I used some stuff called Quicksilver by Createx. You put it straight into your airbrush, no reducing. It just sprays directly out of the bottle. Hell yeah, man. That's looking like something it's pretty sweet right there. I'm liking where this is going. Hey, thank you guys for all the positive comments regarding all of the new artwork and stuff I've been kind of updating. Nothing crazy, but I've been just kind of changing the, you know, changing some logos, changing the artwork on the main page. Been trying to make everything look real cool, you know? Hell yeah. Pimp. Oh man, I forgot to do the grill. I brought the grill into the booth there. Um, it's black. I was gonna hit it with that Quicksilver and I was gonna make it like a billet grill. Grill little fluffies. I'd like to go clear coat. I finished up my little details. Inside markers and the exhaust ports and the headlights and stuff. I took the top of our blower off. I like to go clear coat now using this. We've done one test with this stuff and it turned out amazing. It's 4053 high gloss from Createx. If this comes back glossy and beautiful like usual, I'm probably going to just stop buying the 2K urethane and I might switch to this stuff permanently. A couple comments came in last time I used this stuff and they're asking me, well, what's the durability like compared to 2K urethane? Well, it's not going to be as good, obviously. This is a polyurethane. This is similar to what they would put on furniture or wood, but it's a high gloss version where it actually will mimic 2K urethane. I'm going to go try this out and hopefully we get some good results. Here's our 69 Mustang. Overall, I think she's looking pretty sweet. I did have some issues clear coating. I got a little run right here. I don't know if you guys can see there's a little dark spot. What was happening is the clear coat was pulling some of the color out of the candy and anywhere where you might have a run like that spot is it's a little bit darker now. So I think I might have to do a little bit of research, maybe spraying over candy. We might need to use like a bleed checker or something in between. It's not a total loss though. I could always go back and hit the whole car with 2K urethane with a little bit of sanding and she'll end up a, a glossy beast. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I like the style of this thing anyways. I think she's pretty cool. I hope to be back tomorrow with something else. I'd like to experiment with doing daily videos. So you guys will be seeing a lot of me. So keep your stick on the ice. If women don't find you handsome, hopefully they find you handy. I'll be back tomorrow. See you later. Goodbye.